Today I'm going to show you the gloves that I use when working out in the field. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today I'm going to talk about different types of gloves that we should be, we should have while we're working in the field. Now, whether you're an electrician, whether you're an apprentice, whether you're just doing electrical work, you know, there's some things that you should be able to use and you know, for the most part, just a good pair of gloves would be great to help protect against, you know, cuts and abrasions and things of that nature, but they don't always work. So let's think about this. At the same time, we all sure should be thinking about, as an electrician, working with what we call hot gloves. And hot gloves are nothing more than gloves that are rated for whatever voltage you're working on. It could be anywhere up to a thousand volts. Could be over that. If you're over that, you should be. You should have specialized training. Uh, but for the most part, uh, my, myself, I do service work where you know it's up to a thousand volts. So I do have hot gloves that I will wear. And there's a technique that I have to go through every time that I use them. So you know, let's talk about it. All right. So it's very simple. For the most part, I don't wear gloves. Uh, for me, it just seems that, you know, they kind of get in the way. But there are times I will use gloves, uh, especially when it gets colder out. So here in New England, we're going to wear gloves quite a bit. A lot of times it just depends on the type of work you're going to be doing. So, you know, like for me, like if I'm doing outside work, I'm going to wear gloves. My glove of choice is just a regular pair of nylon gloves with a rubber palm and fingertips. Now, the nice thing is with these kind of gloves, when you put these gloves on, you can feel there's quite a bit of grip to them. Wearing a nice comfortable glove is good. Okay, you want to be able to, you know, work with your hands and do things. Now, these gloves here, you know, fit me pretty well, and what I do is I'll leave them in my bucket and when I need them, this is what I'm going to use, you know. If you're you if you're if you're unloading a truck of uh, wire and it comes on a wooden spool, you know there's going to be splinters and things of that nature. By having a good pair of gloves to grab a hold of the stuff, a you're not going to lose it. B you won't get a splinter. Okay, I can't tell you how many times without a glove I've gotten a splinter in my hand and had to dig it out with a knife or, or a pair of strippers or whatever just to get it out. You know you don't want to get into that situation. So a good pair of gloves is something that an apprentice or um, an electrician or anybody who does any type of work should have. So, you know, good pair of gloves. I recommend a good pair of gloves. You know, they're cheap. You can probably get these at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, you know, fairly cheap. Three, four, five bucks a piece at the most. Um, sometimes they come in a three or a five or a six pack. Um, you know, you're going to use them. The, this glove here happens to be a little bit thin. This glove is a little bit thin, but there are gloves out there that are a little bit thicker. So, you know, buy the glove that works for you. If you like wearing gloves during the summer, then wear a thin pair of gloves. If you like wearing them during the winter, then get a thicker pair of gloves. But make sure you got that, that little rubber insulated spot. Something you could always do too is, you know, we work with our hands. So what you could do is you could take the thumb and the forefinger and cut the tip off so your finger is exposed. So you can get in there to untwist a lock knot or you know twist your wire knot or something. Remember, you have to work comfortably. That is the key. So a good pair of gloves is something I recommend you have in your tool bucket. Okay, the next pair of gloves that I prefer as an electrician is these are Salisbury gloves, okay? They're hot gloves. These gloves are rated for up to a thousand volts. You get a leather glove, okay, which is, which is good for uh, non-contact for um, live electrical. And then we have our rubber gloves that is rated for a thousand volts. Use these when tying in services or working in a live switch gear. Now, as an apprentice, you may or may not work in live switch gear. You may or may not be the one, you know, up on top of the ladder, you know, bugging uh, a service in after a service change. But you might. So here's, here's my suggestion. Do you need to run out and buy these as an apprentice? No. As an electrician, should you own a pair of these gloves? I absolutely recommend it. 
Having these gloves are very important, but the key is you need to make sure that you know how to work with these properly. This rubber is like a 16th of an inch, so because that's why it's rated, the higher the rating, the thicker the glove is gonna be. The nice thing is these gloves here, you know, you can still work just like you would, but you're still gonna have that, that hard, you know, trying to, you know, really grip something. Plus, you don't wanna grip anything with these rubber gloves. And, and let me show you how this all goes together. First thing you need to do when you, when, you get, when you use your gloves, you want to make sure that there's no cuts or tears or anything like that in them. You want to make sure there's no cuts or tears in them, okay? You want to make sure that the gloves are good. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure you want to air test them, okay? So what you do is you fold them over, and what I do is I fold it over like, like so, and then I roll it in like this, and then what I do is I roll it up nice and tight, so that I get these gloves to blow up like a balloon. Once I do this, I run it across my face or my neck. And as I'm squeezing, I'm feeling for air. If you can't hold air in these gloves, you know the gloves are no good. But I basically, I just feel for it. Everything is good. Okay, I make sure everything is set. I go off and I test my other one. Now that I know my glove is good, now that I know my, my rubber glove is good, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my rubber glove on because if I don't test these, if I have a hole in these gloves, that's a potential for electricity to electrocute me and I don't want to have that happen. So what I do is I make sure with the air test and then I put on my rubber glove. Once I know these gloves are good, then I take my leather glove and I put it over the top. Now, you wanna make sure that you get your fingers in the right holes, because that's always a key. Okay, and then you wanna pull the glove on. And now the gloves are on. Now, you can see the gloves only come down to about my arm, okay? I'm wearing a long sleeve cotton shirt. My long sleeve cotton shirt is what's keeping me protected in case of an arc flash. I don't have safety glasses or a face shield on me, but if I'm working in a live switch gear, I'm gonna make sure I have that on, okay? I've got my gloves. I'm working in a live panel, whatever it may be, working overhead, tying my bugs in. Working with gloves like this takes some time. You have to get used to knowing your limitations with them. You have to be careful. If you cut, nick, or um, slice into these, you got to stop working with the live electricity and you got to back off and you got to either get new gloves or you've got to figure out a way to de-energize the system so you can continue working. Gloves are an important factor to keep you working. Protecting your hands is just like protecting your feet. You want to make sure you protect your feet during the winter. You don't want them to get cold, so you want to make sure you're wearing good boots. You want to make sure that you have good socks on. If your feet get wet, you should always replace your socks. You've got to protect the feet. Also, your hands. You want to protect your hands. A lot of times, you're going to get to that situation where, you know, your hands are going to get too cold, you know, or you're going to get too scuffed up and you're, you're going to be making a mess, okay? Your hands are just going to be like, you know, you're bleeding everywhere and this and that. Gloves will protect you from this stuff, okay? Using hot gloves, during a, a live electrical work is a positive. You know, when I was an apprentice, not necessarily needing that stuff, you know, I was always told by a journeyman a long time ago to just a regular leather glove is fine. You know, you don't necessarily need the rubber when doing a service change. So, you know, with that being said, you know, a good pair of leather gloves is also something you should throw in your tool bucket. You know, having a pair of hot gloves always keeps you safe, plus it's yours. The one thing that I didn't show you is what I do once a month is I take powder and I put powder into my rubber glove, shake it around, twist it, get that, get that air flowing, making sure there's no powder coming out because you know, after a while those gloves, they do deteriorate and they will get a pinhole. If you get a pinhole in your glove, you're gonna see that there's a problem. You know, you don't wanna find that potential hazard of having a pinhole in your rubber glove. With that being said, I hope this video helped you 
make a decision on what type of glove you're gonna need when getting out into the field. So if this video helped you, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Um, and as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do me a favor, subscribe. If you wear a particular type of gloves that you like, do me a favor, comment below. I'd love to hear what, what you all are using out in the field to this day. As always, my name is Craig Mashad. I am the electrical instructor. Have a great day and be safe.